GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. My name is Reverend Patrick Oswansa, the CEO of Blessed Empire Kennel. Keep watching GH Dog TV and don't forget to subscribe to our channels. The Lord bless you. Hello there, big shout outs to you wherever you're watching us from and welcome to yet another exclusive episode on GH Dog TV. My name is Solo One, you can call me the dog blogger. If you're new on our channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. And then you can also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at GH Dog blogger today's episode is a very interesting one today's episode is about a three-year-old kid who is a dog lover interesting isn't it we'll get right into the video but then let me first acknowledge our proud sponsor for today's episode today our episode is proudly sponsored by montego pet nutrition one of africa's largest pet food companies in case you're looking out for dog food cat food food for puppies anything that is related with nutrition concerning your pets trust me montego pet nutrition has got you covered you can get montego any product from montego pet nutrition at any pet shop near you and their products are also available at game melcom palace mall and what have you just pick their number on our screens just pick their number on our screens and go get a product from montego pet nutrition they have a wide range of products that are they, they have sauces for dogs they have the wet feed they have the dry food and trust me they are very very nutritious so just pick their number on our screen and get a product from montego pet nutrition lovely viewers without wasting much of your time let's get right into today's episode my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger My name is Joshua Kuma and I'm a breeder, the owner of Sun Love Kennel and this is my daughter Yaira, soon to be the owner of uh, Sun Love Kennel very soon and she's just turning three years very soon. I realized that she started getting in contact with the dogs at early as seven months. Well, um, you know, more times when I'm going to the dogs, when I want to go and visit the dogs and then take care of them, she likes to follow me. All those while she was crawling, she just liked to follow me to the dogs. So her first encounter was around at the age of eight months which I will not forget. That was when she was playing with the dogs and the dogs were pulling her dress backwards. I mean there were three dogs, puppies at that time and they were pulling the dress. I mean the mother was around, the brother was around, we were all laughing on that day. It was very funny. I can't forget that day, not at all. Yes. 
since then she has been a dog lover. I think she will love dogs more than I do. Yeah. For the mother, um, she's been chased by a dog before, so she's a little afraid. But you know, once you're being told what to do, how to handle dogs, and I mean how to get along with them, you get to I mean know them and then get to used to them. So the mother is okay now; she's not that afraid, except a dog that's not belongs to her. So she's cool with dogs now. I think I might have passed my love for dogs to my daughter because um, I'm, 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 I'm an animal lover because uh, at, at the age of, let's say, 15, 18, we used to have a cat. But then the love for animals grew from there. We, didn't, we, never, we never owned a, a dog before, but then I have friends who had dogs, so we normally get to play with their dogs. And since then, I've loved animals, so I think, yes, I must have passed my love for dogs to my daughter. Yara does a lot of things with the dogs. She's able to feed the dogs. When I asked her to take the dogs into their cages, she's able to direct the dogs into their cages. Each and every dog, she's able to direct them into their cages. I mean, she's able to feed them water. Anything at all you want her to do, she can do it. Yaira always wants to be around dogs. Each and every time I go out to, I mean, take care of the dogs, she wants to follow. Even when I'm not around and she gets little chance to step out, she's going to the dogs. She's going straight to the dogs. But then I make sure that all my cages are well equipped, well, I mean, locked, so as to make sure she's not able to open any dog. So I make sure of that because a child alone with the dogs is not advisable. You need to supervise to be around them anytime, any day. You need to be around the child and then the dogs to supervise and make sure that you don't leave the child alone with the dogs. Well, um, for my daughter being able to get close to the dogs, bond with them and then be able to take pictures, feed them and open them out of their cages. I think it is very, very necessary for each and every dog lover or dog owner to be able to introduce their dogs to their kids. No matter how many children you have, do your very best. Introduce your dogs to their kids. Make them know the children very well because it is very important. You can't be around every time to supervise your child when they are around the, the dogs. Because most of the times, like I said, my daughter sometimes can sneak out to go see the dogs. Let's say if I've not been, I've not been able to introduce her to the dogs properly, you can imagine what can happen. I mean, anything can happen. By then, dogs are, I mean, man's best friend. You understand? So, whenever your child is going out to the dogs just make sure you are always around and situations whereby you are not around you need to be sure that the dogs are well socialized first which is number one when they are well socialized and then i mean they bond with the, the, the kids in the house if they are able to sneak out and then go to the dogs i mean you are rest assured that your daughter or your son is safe because your, I mean, your dogs are well bonded with the children. So I think it's very, very, very important for every dog lover or dog owner to, I mean, introduce their dogs to their kids. It is very, very important.
so Efia has an Instagram page if in case you want to follow for more photos and videos uh, you can reach you can reach uh, Instagram page on Efia underscore dog lover the Efia is spelled as E P H I A underscore dog lover for more amazing photos and videos GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers.